Welcome to this video. It's part of the free course, how to create a platform like Shopify, using WordPress and WooCommerce. You'll create a platform with a beautiful customized dashboard, where users will manage their stores. Also, you'll create a beautiful homepage, a pricing page to sell your membership plans, and a custom login page. Follow the link in the description to take the course. We're almost done with the course. We've already created the dashboard, and now we'll create an upgrade page, to invite users to upgrade their plans, every time they try to enter a page that is now available for them. As you may remember, WP Frontend Admin allows you to make some pages available for specific plans only. Now the question is, what happens with the plans for which these pages are not available? For this, we'll create an upgrade page to redirect them every time they open an unavailable URL. We'll create this page on the dashboard site. We'll use the Gutenberg editor. So if you have the classic editor installed, go to the plugin section of the network admin and deactivate the plugin. Here, we'll create a really simple page. We'll enter our platform logo. For that, let's enter an image block and select the image from the media library or upload the image from your computer. You can easily resize it. Now we can enter a heading like upgrade. After that, enter a message telling the users that the page is not available for them. And a line inviting them to upgrade their plan to get this and more benefits. Now let's add a button, so users click it to upgrade their plan. All the elements should be centered. Let's preview the page. As you see, the logo is not centered, so we need to go back to the editor and center it. Now let's preview the page. Now the page looks cool. Finally, we need to link the button to the membership page. This is the membership page we created in previous sections, so enter the URL here. We'll preview the page now and test the button. This is the message you'll see, because the dashboard site doesn't have any membership assigned. However, this is what the users will see when they open the membership page. Now it's time to publish the page. And copy the link. We need to copy it, because we have to add the upgrade page as the wrong permissions URL, on the global WP frontend admin settings. In access restrictions, go to the wrong permissions page URL, and paste the upgrade page URL. Finally, save changes. Now, Every time users try to enter a page that's not available for their plan, they will be sent to this page. In the next video, we'll learn how to display multiple admin sections on the same page.